Hey guys, it's that Pilot Joe, and I know I haven't been posting in a while, but it's all for good reason. I have some good news. I recently passed my instrument check right, and I am now an instrument rated pilot. And what that means is I am one step closer to becoming a professional career pilot. The next step is to get my commercial license, which I will do by the end of July, hopefully. And I'm also going to try to post more during that time and not leave you guys stranded. So today is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to go over the features of Stratix and how to use them, basically. Um, it's not going to be a full detailed version because I am on the ground right now. But hopefully you guys get the main picture. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, once you connect to the Stratix network via Wi-Fi, you wanna go into Safari and type in the IP address 192.168.101. And that is the IP address standard for all Stratix. Um, that is gonna get you into the settings. And once you're there, I recommend bookmarking this page and saving it to the home screen. By doing that, you're able to have a app on your home screen, just like this one. And you can automatically jump into the Stratix settings without going into Safari. So once you're in the settings, um, it's pretty simple here. This is the home page. This shows you how many messages you have from the ADSB bands. Um, how many towers you're connected to, how many weather updates you're getting, the amount of GPS satellites in view, and the uptime and CPU temperature. On the next page, there's weather. There's not much in that page. Um, nothing, actually. I don't know if it's because I'm on the ground or if it just doesn't have anything on this page. But the next page is traffic. I'm in Seattle right now, so there's a bunch of traffic, but not right now. It's pretty late, 9 o'clock p.m. Earlier in the day, there was a lot of traffic when I tried making this video, but it died down a little bit. Um, there's still a couple of planes on this page. It gives you their call sign, location, altitude, speed, their course, and the time since the last transmission. On the next page, there is a GPS and AHRS data. It just has your GPS location, your AHRS on the right, satellites, and the G meter. Uh, the G meter doesn't really give you any information. Um, it's not very useful, but it's just a cool feature that they added. Towers, this is gonna be where you get the current power from the tower that you're connected to but I'm not connected to any because I'm on the ground and not in range of the tower right now but once you get in the air flying and you're near a tower this screen will populate uh, settings this is where you can calibrate your gyros and sensor orientation this is also where you can update the Stratix if you're on a computer or you can reboot and shut down the Stratix so that's pretty much the basic stuff in Stratix. If you have a electronic flight bag app like ForeFlight, you can use this to get more features on a map. Here in ForeFlight, it's giving me the traffic on a map and it will also give me the weather if I'm connected to an ADSB tower. Um, right now, it's giving me Compass Airlines, it shows you your heading, speed, altitude, and the distance away from me, so 3.6 nautical miles northwest, um, JetBlue Airways, Alaska Airlines, and Delta Airlines. Uh, this page is really cool. It's just fun to look at the traffic sometimes. It's also very helpful when you're in the plane and you don't see the traffic outside, but you know where they are by looking at this map. Um, 
sometimes on the map when you're flying it will give you a traffic alert just behind you at like 12 o'clock zero feet below that's pretty much your ghost um there's no traffic behind you that close it's just the adsb receiver picking up itself um so don't be alarmed when you see that for those of you without a cellular ipad and you don't have gps built in the stratix will also give you gps and that's very helpful when you're flying along and you don't know where you are so you get your gps on the or you get your location on the map but also if you are a instrument rated pilot or doing instrument training if you are doing approaches or looking at your approach plates and you have the upgraded four flight subscription it will give you your location on the plate and if you put it on to the map you have your location on there as well as other traffic and that is really cool um it increases your awareness and can help make you a safer pilot so that's pretty much it to the stratix um other than the traffic and the weather you would get weather right here the metars tafs wunzawaf nodums and tfrs uh, you would get all of those traffic and gps oh i forgot one thing so stratix has updated their software from my last video it's revision 5 now instead of 3 i believe i updated mine you can update yours the same way we did before using etcher if you don't know what i'm talking about check out my last video and you can see in that video how to use etcher and how to upgrade or remount the stratix image on your sd card but it's supposed to give you attitude information and it's not doing anything right now because it's outside not moving but it should give you attitude heading altitude airspeed and the VSI um, it also gives you your distance up here active leg and estimated time in route if you have the four flight app normally ahars works natively with most of the other efbs but for flight it does not but recently with this update you should be able to get ahars natively if you have for flight 10.0 or above and the new stratix update so that's it for this video um, if you need the link for the new software check out the description and it will be down there also check out my last video for links to buy the hardware if you are interested in buying and building a stratix but for now that's it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace